Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Colonel Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about Colonel Defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with carrying a fake weapon. Let's see. My son was reported to be carrying a uh, gun in a park. The police arrived and when refusing to give up this fake gun, he was arrested. He has a DUI and goes to school. I hope this will not affect him. Well, generally speaking, uh, being in possession of a fake weapon is just a misdemeanor under Penal Code Section 12553. Uh, it's an infraction, I'm sorry. It's an infraction. It's not even a misdemeanor. Uh, it's just a fine of 100 bucks. That's it. It's not a big deal. However, if you're showing this gun in a threatening manner, then you could be charged with brandishing, especially if it's a type of gun that you can't tell whether or not it's imitation or not. Um, you could be charged with brandishing, which would be a, a misdemeanor under Penal Code Section 417, which carries up to one year in county jail. Now, let's say the police were in process of trying to take the gun from you and you refuse. Okay, at that point, you might have a little bit of an issue because now you're going to be charged with a violation of Penal Code Section 148, which is uh, resisting uh, the police or obstruction of justice. This is a misdemeanor that carries up to one year in the county jail. Now, Going back to that old DUI case that your son has, um, it says right here that he's going to school. So I'm assuming he's relatively young, which means I'm assuming that that DUI is not 10 years old. If that DUI took place within the last three years and your son is on probation for that DUI, this uh, 148A1, which is the resisting of the police, this would be a violation of probation, which means your son could be facing up to six months in the county jail for violating probation apart from the punishment of that 148 and the possession of the fake gun. So uh, to answer your question, yes, this could definitely affect him. So you really need to talk to a criminal defense attorney so that the attorney can uh, obtain the evidence, talk to the DA, and see what the best solution would be for your son. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who repented after committing a crime. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers, criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.